Tira, 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 tira. 60, 60's in here. There's a, there it is. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Go, 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 go. Safety first, y'all. Twice in a year. This is unreal. <laughs> I do have to give a special shout out and thanks to Chris Van Vliet and also Fondue Belts for making this possible right now. This is definitely a dream come true for me and the fact that I get to even do this is just an absolute blessing. So. I think you guys can already tell what the heck's going on in this video, so I guess without further ado, we all know it's a new belt day! Now that we got the spazzing out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get unboxing. Get the trusty knife, courtesy of Jack. Thanks, Jack. So excited. Put that down. Oh boy, I don't even know if I want to unbox it like with my eyes looking down. I just want to kind of do one of these and just start opening, not even looking. Don't look. Oh, there it is, I feel it. I feel it, there's something. There's, 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 there's things happening right now. Here it is. Oh, wow, this is a heavy boy. So in case y'all haven't guessed, this is the big gold. I yet to fully see it yet, so I want to save it for the big surprise reveal at the end. So let's go ahead and place her down. Again, I'm avoiding all this at all costs. This is how right now. I'm just feeling out, make sure I'm not hitting anything messed up, taking all the padding off. Look at this. I'm gonna keep it for for Sophia to use. So, all right, lady's got flat out right now. Take him by the side place. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Here we go. Tres, dos, uno. Oh, I can already see from the camera. This is nuts. Okay. Wow. I mean, just from the backing, it looks fantastic. Ooh, smells really good too. It's that new belt smell, baby. Okay. I'm gonna check for a. Uh, Face reveal, I guess I'm gonna do it like this. Again, I'm not looking at anything until it's time. So here we go. You guys have already seen it. I haven't yet, so here we go. Oh, my heart, my heart, look at this. Holy cow. Oh my God, look at this thing. Oh wow, this is even better in person, y'all. Oh my god, the pictures and videos you see of this fondue big gold just absolutely do not do it any sort of justice. This is outrageous. Oh man. Oh wow. Hello precious. Hello beautiful. Wow. I mean just Ridiculous. <laughs> this is my first fondue. This is my first fondue, my first big gold. And just, I mean, you saw my reaction. I'm blown away. This is unreal. Oh, wow. Okay, well, now to the next step. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna place her down, and we're gonna go ahead and get a nice little in depth look into this belt. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so upon first glance, wow. <laughs> I mean, I've always seen pictures and videos of this big gold from Fondue and just the, the amount of quality that it already shows in pictures just absolutely does not do it any sort of justice whatsoever when you actually see it in person. So let's go ahead and get into a nice little in-depth review about just the platings and the strap. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the side plates first. Really just absolutely stacked of detail. I mean, this thing... God, I want to say these plates are about maybe six to eight millimeters thick, without even question. Like, this is just outrageously amazing. 
as you can tell right here, the nice regal floral royal design. I mean, this is a very royal belt for obvious reasons, as you can tell from, hello, the crown. But just looking at it right here is, the detailing's far and none from fondue. Like, the guys over there just absolutely outdid themselves with these updated versions of their titles. So, four rubies bordering on each side. Wrestlers right here, square in the middle. Nice little like nugget texturing in the back. And I know usually the big goals that we're all used to from like WWE and even WCW, they didn't all, not all versions anyway, had this style of border on the plates, like this almost sort of like wreath going all the way around. But this is a very nice little detail to add and just it makes it stand out so much more, especially the nugget right inside. So side plate number two is pretty much the exact same thing. So the four rubies on each side, the wrestlers in the middle and the nugget texturing in the back and the nice floral design going all the way around. But those are your side plates. So let's go and let's get into, again, the big guy, the main plate. Obviously very derived from the original version of the big gold title that was debuted by Ric Flair, Woo! where just the very dis distinguished look. I mean, I don't better know how to explain it. It's just very, it's royal, it's elegant, and it just screams world title. It's fantastic. So up here at the top, as you can see, we got the words world heavyweight wrestling champion. We have the nice crown right here in the smack middle on top of the world. And then right here, I gotta give thanks to the fondue belts for this one right here with my own custom nameplate right here with the Santiago. Obviously for my last name, it's just absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to hang this guy. This is gonna be so great. Going over from across the top, around we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rubies going all the way around the main plate. On top of that, we have a couple extra right here for the crown and some nice clear gems going across the, the crown itself. So you see the same kind of nugget texturing deep into the back, kind of like with the side plates, the couple wrestlers on the sides, and the very regal and floral type of main plate design that they went for obviously with the original title and that was obviously later then adapted when WCW went and owned claim to this design. And then once WWE went and purchased WCW, and they then took upon this design when Eric Bischoff went and awarded Triple H this World Heavyweight Championship after Brock Lesnar was traded to SmackDown. And let's take a look at the strap itself. So really nice and flimsy. Good quality for a replica belt. Like you can't really get any better than this. This is gonna be as floppy and flimsy as, as they come. Same here on the other side. Nice little shake shake action. <laughs> So this really good quality kind of strap, even when I take it like this and fold it, folds up properly and neatly. This is how it should be. So bravo to Fondue for creating such a really high quality type of strap for a replica. And I mean, just the thickness of these plates, outstanding. And there's only a bit of a curve going around the main plate. That's good because a lot of the designs for this particular title. Some of them have a curve, some of them don't. It's very, I guess, up to their, to the company's discretion on how they want the belt kind of be to designed. But overall, outrageous. And it's hefty. Woo, look at that thing. <laughs> outrageous. So overall, the massive detailing just can't be compared. Fondue really has outdone themselves in the past few years in upping their game and upping their quality. There you have it. The fondue, this is the all gold, big gold that they offer. And I cannot express to you the amount of awesome detail they put into this one. These are just absolutely outrageous. I guess we're just gonna go ahead and go forth with the uh, with the over the shoulder type of shots. So let's go ahead and let's, oh, fits like a charm. I mean, I'm sorry, this is just absolutely outrageous. This is too good to be true. Wow, this is a really good one. So here's on the right shoulder. I kind of like it better when the, the world title, or I guess the big gold, where the top is facing out that way. I always kind of felt that that was the proper way to put it over your shoulder. I know a lot of guys sometimes like to also do the whole other way with the, with the outer tip like facing the inside. 
of the body. Either way, this just feels phenomenally awesome. <laughs> this is cool. That's a good shot right here. Get the really good gold and glisten right here. This is all, all gold. Just all gold right here. Look at that. <laughs> it is so phenomenal. Wow, this is electric. So keep it like this for right now. We're actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna keep it on the original side. On the nice side out here on the right shoulder, facing out that way, just the way as way as life and God intended it. <laughs> wow, I am super, super pleased. This is definitely a giant surprise to how really well made this belt is by Fondue. Wow, um, again, this can't be beat. If you want your own, go check out fondubelts.com. They have a multitude of options for when it comes to their big gold variants and they also offer the Andre the Giant version of the WWF Championship from 1987. They also offer the classic WWF Tag Team Championships. So this is just insane. I mean, again, and it's heavy too. That's the best part. This thing is just absolutely heavier than all my other belts. And I got three other ones. And this one just, I mean, they call it big gold for a reason, right? <laughs> so this is just awesome. I got to give a shout out again to, to Chris Van Vliet and Fondue Belts for helping make this possible right now. Chris Van Vliet uh, with the plug and Fondue Belts with the belief in me to be able to make them uh, videos. So stay tuned for that guys. If you saw my Smoking Skull Belt that I released uh, a couple weeks ago through Kinshasa Wrestling. Shout out to about there. If you saw that and you saw the, the highlights that I did for his Smoky Skull JMR Championship belt. Um, I'm gonna be doing the same and a couple of others for, for this guy now, because now I have one of my own big golds from Fondue, so. Wow, this is nuts. Oh, Jesus. The strap work is, just, is bar none. I mean, this is, I know this is their upgraded leather that they said they were working on last year, and just the, the difference is fantastic. I mean, just. It's extremely flimsy, extremely floppy. Just, it's about as the best as you could want it ever to be. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this truly is it. Wow, this is fantastic. So I really got nothing, <laughs> nothing bad to say about this thing at all. This hits every single, every single check mark you could want from a replica championship belt, especially the big gold with the lineage that it has. It's just electric. I really can't get over it. This is absolutely electric. So again, guys, if you want, check out fondubelts.com. They have a multitude of options, especially different different types of color for the plating, and different strap options, and different uh, strap colors as well. It's perfectly customizable. You can make your own customized plate, as you saw earlier with my own. It's probably the best place to get yourself an affordable and high quality big gold belt. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for checking this out. And hope you guys enjoyed my in-depth review for my now my own fondue big gold championship world title baby one time for the man himself Woo! <laughs> this is crazy thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you guys next time listen i don't drink from the mainstream too many hands in it so you know the water ain't clean only dirty souls want to join the main team that keep you in a constant daydream not realizing every day is a dream when you wake